Hi class, my name is Dwayne Darko and today I'm going to be talking about the active voice versus the passive voice. Meet my audience. All right, now let's get into it. The Purdue Owl defines using active voice as a sentence in which the verb of the sentence performs the action being expressed in the verb. In an example is the boy slapped the girl. In this case, the subject, the boy, is performing the action of slapping the girl. The passive voice, on the other hand, has the subject acted upon by the verb. In other words, the subject receives the action the verb is expressing. An example is the girl was slapped by the boy. In this example, the subject, the girl, is receiving the action of being slapped by the boy. In my essay, I made the mistake of using the passive voice as opposed to the active voice. I read in the Purdue Owl that the passive voice is only used in writing mainly for scientific research. Some examples of the mistakes I made in my essay were as follows. Um, the first one is, as you walk through the front door, you will be greeted by a large open plan living area. This is passive voice because the subject, which is you, is receiving the action of being greeted by a large open plan living area. What I should have wrote was, as soon as someone walks through the front door, a large open plan living area greets them. In this case, the subject is performing the action of greeting them. Another example was, I wrote, the bedrooms would also be decorated with Ghanaian artifacts, such as hand-painted textiles and traditional beaded jewelry, adding a sense of cultural connection to the private spaces of the house. In this case, the bedrooms, the subject, is receiving the action of being decorated. What I should have wrote, was the Ghanaian artifacts such as a hand-painted textiles and traditional bead of jewelry will decorate the bedrooms. This will add a sense of cultural connection to the private spaces of the house. In this case, the subject, the artifacts, is performing the action of decorating the bedrooms. I also wrote the backyard would be spacious with a large lawn. <coughs> Excuse me. That is perfect for playing soccer, and it will be surrounded by a tall privacy fence, providing plenty of privacy and security. What I should have written was, the backyard would be spacious with a large lawn that is perfect for playing soccer. A tall privacy fence will surround it, providing plenty of privacy and security. As you can see in the correction, the subject fence is performing the action of surrounding it. I also wrote, the field will be equipped with professional grade turf and goalposts, providing a perfect surface for playing soccer. What I should have written was, professional grade turf and goalposts will equip the field, providing a perfect surface for playing soccer. Now we see the subjects, the turf and the goalposts are performing the action of equipping the field. <coughs> I also wrote the field would also be surrounded by a tall fence, ensuring that the games can be played in privacy. What I should have wrote was a tall fence will also surround the field, ensuring that the games can be played in privacy. I also wrote that it would be a place where I can relax, entertain, and create memories with my loved ones, all while being surrounded by the beauty and warmth of my cultural heritage. I should have wrote it would be a place where I can relax, entertain, and create memories with my loved ones, all while beauty and warmth of my heritage surrounds me. Here, the subject, which is the beauty and warmth, will do, perform the action of surrounding me. Now to explain this further, I have some additional examples of an active voice versus passive voice <coughs> versus the passive voice. 
An example of an active voice sentence is, Blessing hated my hair braided down. In this example, you can see that the subject, Blessing, is performing the action of hating my hair braided down. But that in the passive voice would have been, My hair braided down was hated by Blessing. Now you see that over here is twisted over because the subject of hair is performing the act, is receiving the action, might I say, of being hated by blessing. Another example was Victor laughed at my sad story. In this example, Victor, the subject, is performing the action of laughing at my sad story. Now, to put this in a passive voice, I would say my sad story was laughed at by Victor. Here is flipped over seeing that the subject, which is the story, is receiving the action of being laughed at by Victor. Another one is Rochelle disregarded my warning concerning trust. Over here, the subject Rochelle is performing the action of disregarding my warning. Now, to put this in a passive voice, I would say, my warning concerning trust was disregarded by Rochelle. Here, the subject warning is receiving the action of being disregarded. It's quiz time. Now, my audience, you ready for question number one? Yes. All right. Which of these is an example of an active voice? A. Jenny was overseen by a manager on her first day of work. B. Larry was hit by the defensive end on the last play. C. Jared does not eat chicken. Or D. Timeout was given to Linnell by the strict teacher. C. Jared does not eat chicken. That is correct. Jared does not eat chicken. This is an active voice because Jared, the subject, is performing the act of not eating chicken. Question number two. Which of these is an example of a passive voice? A. Starbucks was shut down by the FDA. B. I absolutely wanted to go home. C. The cat in the hat is not funny. D. I can't believe Argentina won the World Cup. A. Starbucks was shut down by the FDA. That is correct. Starbucks was shut down by the FDA is a passive voice because the subject Starbucks is receiving the action of being shut down by the FDA. Third question. A passive voice is when the subject of the sentence performs the action being expressed in the verb. Is this true or false? False. That is correct. It is false because a passive voice, the subject receives the action being expressed in the verb. The next question. A passive voice is when the subject acted. Sorry, let me take that again. A passive voice is when the subject is acted upon by the verb. Is this true or false? True. That is true. A passive voice is when the subject is acted upon by the verb. Also, my audience, I appreciate the participation. Now that you guys have engaged me, do you guys have any questions for me? No. no. All right. Thank you so much for your participation one more time. And I hope you enjoyed my presentation on the active voice versus the passive voice. Thank you, guys.